New this morning, raging flames and thick smoke were pouring from homes in Washington County overnight. Lisa Washington is live in Denora with the latest. Lisa, how many structures are we talking about altogether? So, Rick, we're actually talking about two, but here's the thing. So one of them where this fire started is a multiple family dwelling. There are two families who live in here. We're told by other neighbors it's a young woman and her toddler and also the uh, person who you're going to hear from in just a moment who says that he smelled something cooking and then he smelled something burning. So two families living in that one unit. But the flames were so intense and the houses are close together. As you can see, the fire actually reached the uh, second home that's next door. This is on Health Slip. Avenue here in Denora. This fire started just before one o'clock this morning. Now we understand that both Denora police and fire were on the scene and they were calling from fire uh, departments from other uh, different departments. In fact, some in Westmoreland County. When we arrived, we saw some Carroll Township firefighters here. Now we were hoping to speak with the Denora fire chief, um, but he did leave before giving us any information. So we're hoping to get that. And I know we were going to play for you a taped piece um, talking to one of the victims, but he's actually joining us here right now. And so, Hello. Stephen, if we could come back out live. Uh, Stephen, we were talking to you earlier. You said you've lived here for about three, three years people. and never anything like this before. Never, never had no problems. And so, actually, you're a little emotional now because you were just able to go back in and show us what you brought out. Mom and Dad, they so survived. A picture of your mother and father that yeah. weren't damaged in this fire. Angels from above. That's why I say little signs, signs like this make me give me encouragement. And when we talked earlier, you were saying you were so thankful for the Denora police officers because they were knocking on the doors, getting you and your neighbor out. Tell me about that. They were on point. I'm an ex-military man, and they were excellent, on point, great, timing, perfect. Excellent. They jumped to duty, no hesitation, and then the fire department right behind them knocked out everything, and they did a great job, and I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Well, Stephen, we are so glad for that you didn't get hurt, nor your neighbor. I know police and fire will be investigating this. But this is the latest from Denora. As I said, we're hoping to learn more from the Denora fire about what may have caused this fire. And when we do, of course, we'll pass that information along. For now, we're reporting live in Denora. I'm Lisa Washington for KDKA TV Morning News.